Bitcoin's value has risen since the failed assassination attempt of Trump on Saturday. Trump's recent crypto stance has really picked up momentum in the last few months. To the nation's 50 million crypto holders, I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back. Or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean. So if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Former U.S. President Donald Trump has firmly positioned himself as the biggest Bitcoin and crypto advocate for the upcoming 2024 U.S. president elections. Now, I'm not into politics. I'm not even American, and I don't really mind politics altogether. But I do take interest in this election from a crypto investor's point of view, as the election will take place amidst this bull run, which historically have always been spearheaded by the granddaddy of all crypto, Bitcoin. As the old school deal maker Donald Trump is, he has always swung in favor of the US dollar and used to be some sort of anti-crypto, anti-Bitcoin advocate. A Bitcoin, I, I just seems like a scam. I was surprised, you know, with us it was at 6,000 and uh, much lower. I don't like it because it's another currency competing against the dollar. Essentially, it's a currency competing against the dollar. I want the dollar to be the currency of the world. That's what I've always said. As the years progress, so has Donald Trump's assessment of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole. Bitcoin rallying this morning, topping $60,000 as more traders bet on a Trump presidency following an assassination attempt on the former president over the weekend. Trump's campaign began accepting crypto donations back in May. He's also expected to speak at a major Bitcoin conference later on this month as he looks to reposition himself as a crypto supporter. Bitcoin's value has risen since the failed assassination attempt of Trump on Saturday. Trump's recent crypto stance has really picked up momentum in the last few months. I think the, the, the idea that Trump is positioning himself as a crypto president, um, you know, stems from before this latest rally, if you if you want to call it such. Um, you know, Bitcoin's rallied around 10 percent in the last nine days. Was it the FUD from the German government selling? Was it the FUD from this idea that the Mt. Gox trustee are going to start paying creditors back um, their Bitcoin and are they going to sell? So I think those fears, the anticipation of those events has sort of passed by and now we're already seeing healthy movements in Bitcoin's price. And so I think it's less to do with President Trump um, and more just actually the main selling events that the market were concerned about, which was Mt. Gox and the German government. After the failed assassination attempt, one of the very first things Trump did was confirm that he'd still headline the Bitcoin conference in Nashville. Of the two major parties, there's only one presidential candidate who's planning on speaking at the largest Bitcoin conference in the world. And that's coming up in a couple of weeks. We look forward to seeing him there. And uh, that's certainly where he's positioned himself as being pro cryptocurrency. And frankly, if we take a look at the past four years, there's something that we, we uh, I guess, fondly called Operation Choke Point, where uh, the government has uh, enacted various things where it has made things difficult for crypto, uh, crypto companies. And so uh, we do not expect uh, President Trump or potential future President Trump to uh, enact things of that nature and in fact be more pro uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in particular. And we've seen that he's uh, accepted cryptocurrencies as part of his donations. And we suspect that of the two candidates, primary candidates, he would be one of the more cryptocurrency positive ones. A lot of people are doing it. I always liked one currency. I, could, I call it a currency. I like the dollar, but a lot of people are doing it. And frankly, uh, it's, it's taken a life of its own. You probably have to do some regulation, as you know, but many people are uh, embracing it. And more and more, I'm seeing people wanting to pay Bitcoin and you're seeing something that's interesting. So uh, I can live with it one way or the other. I've always liked one really powerful thing, and that's called the dollar. Again, I don't care so much about politics. However, as someone who seems to stand for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, Donald Trump is maybe not that bad for all of you, crypto crew. No mess, everything, you can do all you want, but you know, you still need help from the boss. We need help from the boss. That's what happened. We need help. Yeah, we need help. It's all right to say. Now, they'll criticize me for that. How dare he say that? How dare he say that? No, I'll say it. I'll say it. 
And I will also stop Joe Biden's crusade to crush crypto. We're going to stop it. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. Remember, as of this recording, we are in Q3 of 2024. These are the beginning stages of the 2024-2025 bull run, which has always been led by Bitcoin. Once Bitcoin rallies up, so does 96% of the crypto ocean which, by the way, proves the value of Caspa because unlike most coins, Caspa is fully decentralized and stands pretty independently from Bitcoin. That's why during the recent Bitcoin correction, Caspa didn't crash so badly. As a matter of fact, Caspa held up very well at that 16 to 18 cent per Caspa coin level, which for astute crypto investors meant the perfect and maybe last opportunity to buy Caspa this cheap. But more on Caspa in this vid right here. And obviously much more to cover, as I believe Caspa is the greatest crypto on the entire crypto ocean for years to come. That said, a rallying Bitcoin does obviously help the entire crypto ocean. And the sooner Bitcoin goes up, the sooner we will see this bull run fully ignite. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. How much of that is true? How much is just typical election talk to curry favor with crypto investors or maybe to even give false hope to people who need to escape the matrix? I don't know. But actually, I don't bet on Donald Trump's election having bullish implications for Bitcoin and the crypto ocean. With or without Donald Trump as the president of the USA, Bitcoin will continue to surge and cryptocurrency as a whole will see a surge as this bull run is about to ignite. It's just a matter of time, really. That's why until then, crypto crew, remember to be patient as long suffering is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Correct investments into the best crypto projects that have the most potential to skyrocket in this bull run. Coins that have the potential, especially the newer ones that have yet to see a bull run cycle like Casper. The correct allocations of your investments married with your patience will surely pay off in the not so distant future. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They said, yes, you are. I said, no. They said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. What's my first favorite book? The Bible. The Bible is special. The Bible, the more you see it, the more you read it, the more incredible it is. Similar to life, crypto crew, on this crypto ocean, we will face tribulations. But the Lord made a promise that you do well to keep in mind, especially when going through tribulations. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope. That hope that whatever financial tribulations you may find yourself in currently, the stormy waters that may have manifested as hopelessness in your current financial life can come to pass. The Word of God obviously talks about faith in Him. But that biblical principle even applies in a general sense. Hope is generated by faith. And when it comes to your journey on this crypto ocean, it's about the faith, the conviction you must have in your investments. That comes from studying the markets, looking at the fundamentals of a project, forming and executing your investment plan. My plan is simple. My long-term conviction play is Caspa. The vast majority of my other crypto coins are allocated to several new small cap coins that have the potential to pop in the short term. Small cap coins that have yet to see a bull run and haven't been listed on any tier one exchanges yet. The profit either goes into my pocket or is reinvested in my Caspa bag. So my conviction, obviously apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, on this crypto ocean is Caspa. Irrespective who becomes the next president, irrespective whether that be Donald Trump, should he become the new president of the United States, whether he himself will be involved or instigates more American
Americans to be involved in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency investments in general. And I will also stop Joe Biden's crusade to crush crypto. We're going to stop it. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing on the crypto ocean, growing grace, and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.